Welcome everybody to this GEMP webinar on CargoSpot Airmail. Good morning, evening or afternoon. My name is Bart-Jan Haasbeek, based in Amsterdam, and I am GEMP's Events and Engagement Manager. Today, we will discuss accelerating e-commerce business using the GEMP Airmail solution. We have organized this webinar to engage with our customers and have invited a specialized team of speakers to explain us more about this interesting topic. I started my career in the 90s with an airline and vividly remember the big mail tenders answering hundreds of destinations. And of course, the mail shipments ranging from a few mail bags in the bulk to multiple Q6 positions on the main deck. Last minute delivery and of course, mail was a must fly commodity. A lot has changed since then. We sent much less letters, but I guess the mail volumes have increased heavily with e-commerce as well. We appreciate you took the time to attend this session. And before we move on, I would like to address a few housekeeping items. The duration of this webinar is around 45 minutes. The presented data is all fictitious. And we have organized this webinar for a specific audience uh, exclusively for CargoSpot airline customers. Tomorrow you will receive a recording of this webinar and at the moment you can download the slide back that you will be viewing during the webinar. You can download this from the tool. If you have any questions, please raise them during the webinar using the tool and everybody or their attendees are on mute. And if you're interested to learn more after the webinar, please reach out, reach out to us and we will be happy to uh, organize a special call with you. The agenda for today, uh, in a minute, a short introduction of the speakers. Then, Airmail is a growing business, an explanation of the power of partnership with EasyPost, a solution overview, uh, integration with PowerSpot, and the customer experience that we will listen to two customers uh, learning more from their experience. And then it's time for the Q&A and there will be a short summary. Please let me introduce our speakers for today. Um, from the Champ London office, we welcome Christopher Sheldon, Head of Business Development. Also based in London, we have Chaz Aslam, Product Director, CargoSpot. And from Hong Kong, we welcome Stephen Chan, Corporate Development Manager at GLS. And we are especially delighted to welcome two airlines, Isha Malaka, Director IT Business Applications at Saudi Cargo, and John Chang, Head of Cargo Markets and Products, uh, Cargo Commercial at Cathay Pacific. So, Let's go to Christopher in London. Uh, Christopher, could you explain us why CargoSpot is more powerful? Uh, thank you, Bardian. Yes, and welcome everybody to this ML webinar. Um, I, the reason I picked the first point of CargoSpot is more powerful is because it integrates. But of course, we have seen over the last decade a big move towards the SaaS software as a service model, where carriers don't run in-house systems, they now trust a vendor to do that. And of course, the benefit of that is continual updates. And we apply updates continually for all of our customers. So they get new functionality and we build, we think within CargoSpot, a very powerful system. But it's actually more powerful than what we've built because we don't know everything. We have partners out there who can innovate. We have partners with specialist expertise. So the key point I'm bringing out in this slide is Cargo Spot is more powerful than what we've built because it can also leverage the expertise and innovation of partners. We're going to speak about Easy Post, and you'll hear from Shaz and Stephen about the functionality, and Hisham and John about the value to them. We recently ran a webinar with our friends at PayCargo. Uh, so the uh, thousands of freight forwarders who use that system can say, I would like to pay 
through the CAS system of IATA or through a check, or I'd like to pay through PayCargo. And we've introduced the facility where handlers now can take payment and airlines too for shipment uh, freight charges. Uh, another integration we've done is with Salesforce because people want to get closer to their customers and capture more information. And with Salesforce for one airline, uh, they've leveraged our APIs to actually incorporate the booking functionality of CargoSpot into Salesforce. So a salesperson doesn't have to use two different systems. And this is a point that Hisham's going to pick up uh, uh, later on, talking about devices doing multiple things. So the point I'm really bringing out is Cargo Sport is more powerful. And one of the things that we think is important is we know how to partner. So when we looked at airmail um, a couple of years ago and we saw the growing demand, next slide please, Bartian. Um, we said, well, we could either build the functionality uh, for post office handling into Cargo Spot, or we could find a partner who's already done it and leverage their expertise. So, of course, post offices require unique handling. Uh, they require postal airway bills. They have requirements for post office allocations. They require rating to be done in compliance with UPU guidelines. And if we're going to succeed in airmail, we have to talk those languages. And that's what Easy Post done. But the key point about our joint solution and the reason that we think it's ideal is it also has, we have the concept of post as mail. So within a cargo business, you can optimize through allocations and pricing both the capacity for mail and separately for regular freight. So you can actually deliver an optimized business across a whole airline cargo, taking into account the different types of freight carried. And that's what we're going to hear later on. Um, and the final point I wanted to say in terms of introduction here, uh, as Bart Jan alluded, next slide please, Bart Jan, um, we have seen the reduction in the number of letters, but the significant growth in terms of volume of freight pa packages. Um, and we're seeing this uh, particularly because the uh, post offices will use airlines to carry freight. And most airlines want to continue with that. It's a good predictable business and it's growing fast. We've also seen um, the rise of e-business where carriers are actually making themselves available through portals uh, the, for e-commerce suppliers. But today's really about the postal business, which is growing rapidly and IATA mentions that. And the chart that I've got here shows it's been pretty resilient over the last year, even while cargo freight volumes have reduced dramatically through reduced capacity. So this is a resilient and growing part of the business. The question for us is, how do we get into it? And we'd like to share that information with you through the rest. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Luke Christopher. Uh, great. So let's let's move on to the two the next speakers, uh, Shaz and Stephen. Um, Shaz, uh, over to you first. Uh, E-commerce, an opportunity for air cargo. Could you explain a little bit more about that? Thank, thank you, Bartian, and uh, uh, good morning, good afternoon to all of you, and thank you for joining um, this webinar. Um, so I would talk about high level together with Stephen, the overall solution, uh, how um, Easy Post and Cargo Spot work together um, in a coherent way to achieve the end-to-end -end mail business. So before we go into detail, as um, Christopher just mentioned, um, the opportunity for air cargo in terms of uh, um, is, is enormous. So as, as we know, 20% growth year on year, but for years to come, this is going to grow much further because as you can see on the chart, that stale, uh, although it's a high growth in e-commerce, but overall it's around 17.5% of the total retail. So the margin to grow more into e-commerce is significant. So this is something which is going to come very soon and 
what we need to make sure that we are ready to serve this kind of business. In this business, the expectation of customers would be high visibility. Customer would like to have end-to-end -end tracking. They want faster delivery, and they would like to get instant update and notification of such shipments. And that is what uh, Cargo Spot Airmail offers. And we will now go into detail of the solution high level that how this is achieved. So, Bashan, if you go to next slide, please. So the first thing is that we need to connect to post office, obviously, because only then you can get electronic um, details uh, of the consignment and mail bags, and also you could send the real-time updates when the mail is received, when it's departed, when it's arrived. So we need to have electronic connection with all the post offices. And here we put a list together. We have 75 plus connected post offices uh, that you can really leverage business immediately once you connect with Cargo Spot Airline. Um, so if we go next, Bajan. So once you have established the connection um, and you have Cargo Spot Airmail, then the process is quite um, uh, similar to Cargo, uh, seamless. So once you get the contract um, uh, from post office, and these days uh, it's many post office make it mandatory that you need to have a card it rested capability to win the business. So that's really key to get a solution uh, like Cargo Spot Airmail. So once you have the business, the first thing you will do, you could allocate a space and inventory management within Cargo Spot you can manage in a single place to get the optimum value of the space and you can allocate the space mail allocations inside cargo spot then you can have assigned the stock stock could be automated actually uh, we have a automated stock module if you have not implemented and um, uh, if you implement that you can actually get some good cost saving out of it so then you don't need to distribute the mail or even cargo stock system can automatically pick up the stock when needed uh, so once you have allocated a range of the mail uh, upon receipt of card date booking will automatically get created postal error will, will get created which we will show in a minute at a consignment level obviously you need to have all your postal contracts agreements uh, and the prices into the system and system will price it at the time of creation you can see the revenue immediately as well system also has upu rating in cargo spot and on the easy post side where we get into the green bit the moment card date is received in the easy post system will basically seamlessly send it into cargo spot to create a postal air with the with with the uh, uh, with the handheld or mobile devices you could actually scan the mail which steven will talk in a minute and you can basically update all the events within the warehouse uh, manifest depart and on the arrival side important arrival so at ev every given point of time post office and the customers knows the status of the shipment uh, on the accounting side um, I'm sorry but if you can still stay on the previous line on the accounting uh, side the moment consignment and dispatch notes are available in cargo spot uh, through any real-time interface uh, you can automate the billing and invoicing through uh, through accounting grants and CN51 and CN56 would be generated. You can do interline billing. We are also working on PASS. Uh, we are part of the pilot with some airlines uh, with IATA. So that uh, would be available next year as well. And then you can do complete revenue accounting and interface to financial system, for example, SFE, SAP to complete the process. So that's high level end to end process of the mail. So if you go next, now I would request Steven, uh, who's based in Hong Kong from GLS to talk about a little bit about the mail supply chain flow and some of the functionality in Easy Post. So Steven, over to you. Thank you, Shaz. Well, as mentioned by Christopher and Shaz earlier, Easy Post plays an important part in the cargo spot email. I will use the following four slides to explain the Easy Post features. Easy Post enables an airline customer to comply with the UPU standards and requirements. 
in the handling of the electronic exchanges of Cardiff and Resident with the post offices. It also enables seamless data integration to cargo spot and mail for space allocations. Mail batch handling records also provides greater accuracy, transparency, and efficiency in accounting and billing. This slide actually highlights the scope of EC Post along the airmail supply chain. EC Post supports our customer airline in the mail handling process from the origin airport, where the post office hand over the mail bags to the airline for the loading and carriage to the destination, where the airline hand over the mail bags to the post offices. It supports multi leg flights, same airline transit, as well as transit to interline. EC Post also supports an airline who acts as a GHA, a ground handle agent as its hub, to handle shipping, track, shipment checking, and rest date update for its customer airlines. In summary, it works closely at the operations front in tracking the mail bag handling and the mail bag status. Next slide, please. In accordance to the different events or we call it milestones, and the handling status of an airline in fulfilling a mail contract, EC Post plays a critical role in integrating with the post offices to exchange all the defined messages from the receipt of the mail order, i.e. the carded, to the returning of different rested messages in reporting the mail statuses. Listed here are the most common used messages for our EC Post customer airlines. EC Post is UPU compliant, and actually supports all the defined messages type. Next slide, please. Another key feature of EC Post is the application to support the scanning of mail bags being handled by the airline. Scanned data can be directly integrated to EC Post for updating and simultaneously submit the event status to respective post offices. EC Post supports most scanning devices running on Android platform, reducing the need to invest in buying new equipment. EC Post also supports devices running on VinCE and Mi Mobile, but the preference is on Android. Charles, do you want to supplement on this preference on Android devices? Yeah, thank you. So I think uh, later on, Hisham will also touch that the key thing for Android is is it support growth and new apps that uh, uh, we are building in Cargo Spot, and especially with the Cargo Spot Mobile with the Cargo uh, Warehousing application, uh, it is important that uh, if you have Android, then you can have both Easy Post and uh, cargo spot mobile on the same device which could add uh, value addition and you don't need to manage multiple type of devices thank you charles thank you. before moving before moving to the next slide let me supplement two important highlights which help to reduce the physical scanning of each and every individual mail bags easy post supports the mail registration device or we call the mrd which are scanners installed by ipc at the post office mail center at increasing airports, mostly in Europe currently. Post offices with such MLD devices installed will scan all the mail bags before they handle the mail bags to the airline, saving the airline ground staff from this specific scanning step. MLD scan data are automatically updated to Easy Post. Easy Post also provides a nesting feature to help reduce the scanning tasks. Individual mail bag can be nested under one single nesting ID to allow one single scan of this nesting ID to update all the nested mail bags. Next slide, please. This is the dashboard display providing full visibility and details of all the airline's mail consignments. Each data line represents a unique card or CN with details on flight, date, number of mail bags, and total weight. Easy Post use the color board display on event status, which is very easy to spot discrepancy or late updates. Each card line can be further drilled down for more details up to the individual DN level or the receptacle level. This 
this provides a very useful tool to specific users from headquarter control to local output stations to have full visibility of their specific mail consignments, which may in turn help to trigger follow-up actions. Before I hand it back to Charles to continue with the cargo spot and mail, my last supplement is that EC Post also provides a variety of reports to provide additional information to the airlines. One typical example is the performance report. It helps to monitor the mail handling performance at outpost stations or the JIC 8s, which help to drive improvements. To conclude, EC Post plays the important role in supporting the air mail, airlines' mail handling in compliance with the UPU standards and requirements. The scanning process allows real-time updates to post offices to ensure absolute accuracy of mail bags being handled, including the handling of discrepancies between the carded and the actual mail bags being handled. And through the handling of consignment data and the seamless integration with cargo spot mail, airlines accounting and invoicing processes can be made a lot easier with clarity and accuracy. Back to you, Shaz. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Um, I believe, uh, Bachan, we should do a quick poll now. Yes, indeed. Um, thank you, uh, Stephen. Um, we have a poll now for you, uh, for your audience. We will uh, raise two questions for you. Could you please answer them using the tool? And if you have any questions to ask, please do not hesitate to, to raise them also your, uh, within the tool. And we will be happy to answer them uh, at the end of the webinar. So the first question, um, let's see. here it's now on the screen. Uh, the question is, do you currently have an airmail solution? Simple question, yes or no question. If you could please answer the question, um, then we will wait a few seconds now, give you some time, and then the uh, we will close it and we will have further visibility of the results soon. Um, I can see the percentage of the audience that has uh, has voted. Let's wait a few more seconds. Yes, we go to a very high percentage. So thank you for that. I will now close this question and share the results. So, Shaz, looking at these results, what what is your feedback on this? Um, so, as as you can see, more than fifty percent um, uh, of the participants have said that they don't have a solution, and as we discussed earlier, uh, A, to get the business, and B, to optimize your uh, capacity instead of manually working with air mail, to get the visibility of inventory between mail and cargo, considering due to COVID, uh, flight schedules are impacted, flights are reduced. So it's highly critical to get the solution, which can bring significant value on investment to get more e-commerce related business. And B, for those uh, who already have the solution, um, if, if they're using a solution which is not uh, integrated with cargo spot, then you lose the value of basically uh, same process, uh, consistent visibility of space, uh, utilizing cargo and uh, mail processes or devices to reduce the cost. So there are enormous opportunities for seamless integration. So what I would suggest those who do not have solution, it would also become a regulatory requirement in future that you need to send the mailbag data to the custom. So it would kind of become must and manually it's impossible to handle. So I would suggest those who do not have solution get in touch and we can provide detail of the solution. Furthermore, details if you're interested. And if you already have the solution, we should explore how we can provide you real-time integration and with the postal air bill process inside the car or cargo spot. Okay, thank you, Shaz. In the meantime, I have launched the second question. Uh, we are collecting the responses at the moment. Um, yeah, so please do vote as well. 
uh, the, the question is how much does airmail contribute to your revenue is that less than 10 percent between 10 and 20 percent or over 20 percent let's wait a few seconds um she has already i can tell you nobody voted for over 20 percent so it's uh it's the a and b option that are the most popular um again we get to a very high percentage of people who voted so thank you for that as well and i will now share the results uh Shaz, and uh, yeah what is your what are your thoughts around this so this as we discussed earlier so the this is a growing business as the charts which were shown by uh, christopher earlier all the indicators from iata the statistics from upu uh, ipc uh, the e-commerce growth indicators, and especially pandemic situation, this is, as we saw, is a growing business. So this percentage that you have currently, A, will significantly grow in years to come. So that means we need to get ready to have a automated solution to handle that growth. And B, this, this still, you know, 27% um, between 10 to 20% is quite a good share of the cargo and cargo as we have seen is quite important these days um, as we have seen many aircrafts converting into freighters now so the mail business will become more and more important and get increase your share you, we need to get automated solution which is connected to post offices that gives opportunity to grow this share of percentage basically Yes, indeed. Uh, thank you, Shaz. Yeah, 27% between 10 and 20%. Uh, that is a significant uh, yeah. chunk of revenue for, for these airlines. So that's quite interesting. But let's move on and go to the next slide. Um, um, thank you, Vartyan. So we will uh, talk about how the information looks in cargo spot when the information comes into cargo spot i have just picked a couple of um, screens due to shortage of time and in this screen i'll talk about postal airway bill which is basically the heart of the system so as we talked about the at the receipt of car date information will be transformed automatically into kind of an airway bill form those of you who have seen this screen in cargo spot are probably quite aware. It looks like similar to full airway bill or a cargo airway bill screen, but it's actually a postal airway bill trans, uh, transformed from a car day. So how, that, how does that happen? System, first of all, pick an airway bill number from a postal range, um, uh, and then it indicate with the stock type coaster, so that uh, you, you can differentiate between cargo and uh, post airway bills. One of the issue is, you know, for big airlines that the postal, you can, you can have a shortage of ranges within a year. And to solve this problem, we have done a development where postal airway bill could be non-check digit compliant because cargo has to be check digit compliant, but postal doesn't need to be so um, that is quite useful we are working with one airline on this uh, and if you look at the screen now on the right side where it says assign dispatches this is where just like the console uh, concept of cargo where you have master and house we have adopted similar concept that all the dispatch inside a particular consignment will be shown in this grid called dispatches so you can click a dispatch and you can go to a dispatch record so uh, system will show all the other details as you can see the screen the post office o and d flight under which it is booked and the space will be deducted from that flight so you see both cargo and mail in the same flight and you can see the revenue um, projection as well uh, on different screen in cargo spot um, on the left hand side where you see UPU service levels are also transformed and added into a postal airway bill and if you want to bill to a different post office sometimes that's a requirement if you see on the left side billing party indicator it shows on which party it should be billed so the key thing is again the card date is transformed into a postal airway bill you can generate XFWB, FWB in future out of it. That would be a regulatory requirement, as I said, for uh, 
for some cases like ICS2 in future. Um, so um, this allows you to have similarities. You don't need to train your people. Um, they are very familiar with cargo airway bill and uh, postal airway bill looks very similar. So same postal dispatch record. Uh, when you click the, all the dispatches, you can go into the lower level of dispatch where you can see IMPC code of origin and destination as well. Um, and uh, it shows that this postal airway bill number, uh, which is PAWBCN on the screen, 950. So it links that this dispatch is linked to this postal airway bill number, and it shows all the details. So basically, you can view all the dispatches. And to complete the process, once you have the, all the consignments, postal airway bill dispatches into the system, then you can use cargo spot revenue accounting um, and you can automate basically accounting runs. System will pick up all the postal airway bills, all the dispatches, and it will execute uh, the invoicing CN51, CN66 for cash collection. You could also do interline billing or you can do non-cash traditional invoicing as well to postal airway bills. Once all this invoicing is done, similar to cargo you can uh, execute your earned revenue system can actually differentiate revenue that is recognized after flown of mail and unrecognized revenue and it can actually post to a manual jv and interface to a financial system so that gives you really real-time visibility cash collection seamless integration and your uh, your staff actually enjoys that there is a huge similarity uh, uh, in different processes similar to you know invoicing and accounting same way as cargo so that completes the end-to-end -end process the information is posted into the financial system so thank, thank you Barjan. You. That, uh, that was the overall high level end-to-end uh, -end run with completion at accounting Perfect. Thank you, Shaz. Uh, let's move on and uh, let's introduce uh, Hisham Malaka, Director IT Businesses at Applications at Saudi of Cargo and Yun Chang, Head of Cargo Markets and Products, uh, Cargo Commercial at Cathay Pacific. Um, we first call to Hisham. Um, Hisham, could you explain us a little about your experience at Saudi of Cargo? Okay, thank you very much, uh, everybody, for giving us uh, the opportunity to share with you Saudi experience. Now we have already implemented the solution since uh, more than one year and a half. The solution actually gave us, uh, like, like what has been uh, addressed by Mr. Shaz and also by Mr. Uh, uh, Stephen, most of the business uh, values we have already touched it, they're real. Uh, first thing is the uh, Saudi now is uh, UPU compliant, that's able to attract more post offices and be able to uh, proceed with uh, bidding, with uh, postal officer business biddings. So this actually has uh, increased the Saudi market shares in, in terms of uh, the airmail business. Second business uh, benefits that we got, we have a better quality and visibility for all our stakeholders. Now, whatever the uh, operations that we handled for the uh, airmail uh, receiving and handling everything, this, this information will be visible for everybody. So, on a timely manner, all everybody in the chain of uh, airmail handling will have the visibility of the data. And thus, there will be less uh, need to inquire and track and trace the status for the airmail. Uh, also, we have, since that all this uh, performance and all this data has been recorded by the system, we can uh, measure the performance of all the handling agents and we can present the uh, KPIs, be able to identify which are the stations which are um, actually performing well against those who are actually suffering or they need some support to make the mail handling process better. Of course, now, since that everything it has been, uh, all the uh, uh, operations have been recorded and based on the operations uh, invoices were generated. We have less disputes when it comes to invoice. Uh, less disputes, I mean, from the post offices, invoices are normally acknowledged and accepted, unless in very rare cases we are getting uh, disputes. 
Now, since that we're using EasyPost, now it is um, on an Android device, same thing. We have the Cargo Spot Mobility Solution, which is also on an Android which, um, application. We can have both applications to be set on the same device and it will be operated by the same agent. You will not be needing to handle two devices to operate like two different applications. So this is like an additional merit that we are giving our uh, ground handling uh, when it comes to uh, scanning the medbacks and receptacles. Now, our uh, implementation, implementation experience, uh, we had a couple of challenges, of course, uh, handling airmail and uh, complying with the UPU standards. It's, uh, it's a mindset that it needs to be uh, based in all uh, stages throughout the whole uh, airmail uh, value chain, which is includes, including the post offices, the GHAs, the commercial team for the carrier, all these people, they need to understand the UPU requirements, what are the terms of conditions of UPU, all the codes. So uh, our experience is that uh, we were a bit of having uh, troubles with our global GHAs. Uh, not all our GHAs were UPU compliant or, or uh, able to scan those receptacles, or there were some technical, um, I would say, limitations from their end, technical readiness. So I would really invite any uh, interested customers to implement the solution uh, to check the technical readiness for throughout the whole value chain of airmail handling, which includes the GHA predominantly, the GHAs globally, they need to be ready and they need to have those equipments intact with the solution so that the process can be tracked and can be handled from end to end. One more thing, uh, one more challenge that we faced is the from the contractual uh, level actually our contracts uh, needed to be altered with all our post offices because those post uh, offices they were having a previous uh, business and the contracts they were shaped in a non-UPU I would say uh, standard now they need to be reshaped so this is something that for uh, any interested customer they need to baseline and streamline their uh, existing contracts to be UPU compliant so that they will not face the troubles of handling the carded and listed messages because they are UPO. And these eventually these messages, they will entail the service types, which actually pull the uh, uh, related charges accordingly. So I hope you know, these uh, kind of uh, things uh, that could help you to, uh, I mean, uh, avoid while we struggle to fix it. But Alhamdulillah, we are uh, streamed now, now. Things are much, much better. Now, in the future, what we would like to do, we are working with uh, CHAMP along with uh, GLS to uh, uh, enhance the existing solution to make it more intuitive, more uh, easy for the end users, because you're talking about an application that is being used uh, globally. Of course, there will be always a challenge of um, end users and then a level of uh, computer literacy and all that. So we're simplifying the solution. Yeah, we have done that, but we are, we are like moving to multiple stages of simplifying, simplifying the solution. We are doing a good job on that part. And uh, second thing, uh, of course, uh, the, our sister company, Sal, is the uh, Saudi uh, ground handling uh, company for logistics. They're interested to use uh, also Easy Post for from the ground handling perspective, where they will be actually serving carriers. Now we are also uh, enhancing the existing solution to cater more into ground handling uh, business model. Uh, last uh, last thing that we want to enhance for future is PASS, PAWS uh, compliance. We are working with Saudi Post, our uh, national uh, post office here, to see if we could uh, uh, be uh, PASS, uh, if we can uh, implement PASS in 2021. And of course, uh, yeah, I mean, this would be our uh, switch over to all our post offices in the future. I hope I, I gave a little or like a very brief idea about our uh, experience with uh, the solution. And thank you very much and uh, good luck, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Hisham. That was indeed a very clear overview. Um, very good to hear you. And I took some notes. Um, the benefits, the clear benefits you mentioned, increased market share, less disputes on invoice, less need for track and trace, better measuring of KPIs. So this is leading to improvements. Uh, you talked about the challenge and also very good to hear the, the future improvements and that you're thinking of expanding uh, across the organization. So thank you very much. Um, let's 
go now to Hong Kong and uh, to John. Um, John Chang, um, Cathay Pacific, totally different setup. What is your experience uh, on, on, on airmail? Yeah. Uh, so thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting uh, us uh, to share uh, the experience. Uh, so apart from myself, I also have my colleague uh, Pascal uh, with me, and uh, he's also uh, looking after the um, product, uh, uh, the mail as product. Uh, so I think uh, uh, a little bit um, uh, why we actually uh, want to work out uh, solutions uh, to improve our mail handling. Uh, so uh, we actually see uh, business opportunities there. Uh, so uh, post office are actually capturing quite a high share of the growing e-commerce uh, segments. Uh, post office definitely have their comparative advantages uh, in handling e-commerce uh, shipments in terms of uh, better customs clearance process and the final mile deliveries uh, to the end customers. Uh, but they also have um, uh, problems uh, that they face. Uh, so in terms of uh, the delivery time and also lack of uh, shipment track and trace, uh, which uh, their customers are pushing them hard on uh, for improvement. Uh, so how we handle mail as an airline uh, just about a year ago uh, was actually very different uh, from uh, the way we handle other cargo shipments. It was uh, actually quite a manual process uh, that was designed actually uh, for handling letters rather than uh, e-commerce uh, parcels. And I think we also uh, struggled to provide uh, uh, shipment status uh, for the mail bags, uh, especially when uh, they are transiting through uh, our hub. Uh, so earlier this year, we have uh, implemented our mail as cargo solution uh, with the support of uh, from, uh, from CHEMS and GLS. Uh, we understand actually uh, this is a, a kind of a customized uh, solution for CX uh, Cafe. Uh, there are some differences from the community products uh, that uh, Charles and even has uh, sh uh, just shared. Uh, but I think uh, what we can share is uh, this uh, mail cargo solution has actually helped us to improve the visibility of mail shipments. Uh, so integrating uh, booking da uh, data from booking uh, to handling and to the final accounting reconciliation. Uh, so this enable us uh, a better inventory management uh, ourselves, as well as enable us uh, to provide uh, the track and trace uh, status um, uh, to the post offices. I think benefits of this project is yet to fully realize um, and because actually the post office is um, having an especially difficult year uh, with uh, the majority of their shipments uh, previously transported uh, on the passenger valleys. Uh, and there are, uh, because of the COVID situation, there have been uh, severe capacity cuts on passenger services, uh, so causing more disruptions uh, to post office than probably any other uh, industry segments. Uh, but I think uh, with the right solution in place, uh, we believe uh, we set ourselves ready uh, to provide improved solutions uh, to the post offices uh, when uh, things are uh, more back to normal uh, post COVID times. Uh, so um, thank you again uh, for allowing us to, uh, to share our experience and yeah, I'll pass back the time to um, uh, Bart. Thank you, John. Uh, indeed, very interesting again. Um, let, let me raise a quick question to you. Uh, converting from the letters now to, to parcels, what's the biggest difference between conventional letters and the e-commerce parcels in your opinion? Right. I think um, uh, the um, major difference will be from a customer angle uh, when you mail letters, I think uh, it's originating from the sender and the receivers actually do not expect uh, to receive a letter. So I think uh, the lead time uh, for uh, and, and that, that can be allowed uh, will be actually uh, longer. But uh, in terms of the e-commerce segments on the e-commerce parcels, uh, actually uh, uh, a lot of times uh, the shippers and consignees have an expectation of um, a finite uh, delivery time. So that's to add to the pressure uh, to the post office uh, uh, for uh, some track and trace status uh, throughout the uh, journey, as well as uh, quicker delivery. Yes, okay, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, a letter you don't expect and a parcel you order yourself. That's indeed a, a big difference. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Um, we only have one minute left, so we will run over a little bit, which is uh, not a problem, I hope. Um, Christopher, over to you for a short summary. Uh, thank you, Bart Jan. So we said this was a proven, powerful and integrated solution. I hope you've got the feeling of that from our speakers. 
uh, you've heard from two clients who are using the EasyPost solution. There are others, uh, so you would join an established community, uh, and there are more who are interested in joining what we're talking to at the moment. One of the things that we haven't spoken about, though, is the service side of things, and the offering that we make is there is a single point of support for the entire cargo spot and mail solution, including EasyPost which is CHAMP. So there is no possibility of CHAMP saying, ah, oh, no, that's an easy post problem, and easy post saying, that's a CHAMP problem. We are totally integrated between CHAMP and easy post. Um, and similarly, from a purchasing point of view, um, it's a simple amendment to your cargo spot agreement to contract for the easy post part of airmail. So it's one solution. Uh, supported in an integrated way. And of course, that allows us to deploy rapidly. We've done this several times. Uh, so if you choose to get into a fast growing revenue stream, we can deliver it for you integrated quickly. And I think those are the key summaries I'd like to add to this part, Jan. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. So now it is uh, Q&A. Um, we do not have a lot of questions, and we are also running out of time. Um, there, there is one question which is kind of funny because it was raised before you mentioned it, uh, Christopher. Uh, you mentioned rapid implementation. What kind of time frame should we think of? This is, of course, a very positive question. So, yeah. Um, a, a matter of weeks. It would depend on a client's um, particular situation. Every client is different, but it's a SaaS-based solution, so it can be deployed very quickly. Shaz, would you like to add any more on that? Well, that it should be weeks time, um, unless uh, you operate in a country where we have to connect a new post office. So we have provided a list uh, in the PowerPoint. So it, it 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 is a matter of weeks, as you said. Okay, great. Good to hear. Weeks is a, yeah, it's very short. Um, then another one, um, and then maybe first of all, uh, Chance or, or Christopher, do you have any questions you would like to raise at this moment before we go to customer questions also? No. Uh, let let me then raise a question from uh, from the audience. Um, at Mail has different customs process. Do you see certain commodities are being shipped as airmail? Uh, John, maybe you can answer that, or Hisham. Can you repeat the question, please? Uh, as mail has different custom process, do you see that certain commodities are being shipped as airmail? Well, for Saudi customs, in general, it is held at the post offices, not really at the airports. So uh, usually at the airport level, customs, they are not really involved. Customs, there is no special custom clearance held in the airport itself when it comes to uh, import. Uh, for Because in Saudi post, they have special uh, uh, post offices distribution centers where they have like a localized custom centers there where all this would be cleared from that point. And then it will be uh, moved to the airport, presume that it has been cleared from the customs perspective. So we will just immediately handle. Okay, thank you for that. And uh, Bakken, I would like to supplement this a little bit. I, I don't know, John, if you have anything to say, but it is, as uh, John mentioned, especially in this, uh, the, the advantage of the post is that uh, the custom clearance is quick. Um, and they also have advantage of a last mile delivery. So it is obviously uh, very likely that many commodities, which could be a cargo, but to get these two advantages, they are shipped as mail. And that's the reason many uh, customs around the world are now starting to mandate that just like for cargo, you have to submit the advanced data, you have to also submit in future for mail. It's not mandatory yet for uh, most of the countries, but with ICS2, it will become in Europe. Then you have to submit the data for mail in future as well. And that brings the increased and more need to have a solution uh, like we presented CargoSpot Airmail because you would be easily able to do that. 
Okay, uh, thank you, Chair. I have a question coming in with ties, potentially ties in what you said, and that's the final question then because we are really running over now. Uh, can the mail solution or easy mail, mail be used partly only to fulfill the new EU BLAPI program that requires mail shipments to be reported? Uh, yeah, so I'll I'll take that. So uh, we have uh, we have the product called TGS, uh, which we use to fulfill the customs uh, requirement, uh, and many of our customers use that for cargo today. So in future, when it become mandatory for carriers to report, initially post office will directly report uh, the data to customs. But there could be a discrepancy or refiling need for which carrier might need to do uh, as well. Uh, and also it will become mandatory in future for carriers to do that. Then uh, the solution would be uh, that the, our tracks and global security solution will integrate with customs. So the data, postal airway bill and the dispatch data, receptacle data that you saw in easy post and cargo spot screen will be uh, will be through TGS file to customs. So that would be a solution we are currently working on. Uh, also discussing with some customers, IATA and UPU in terms of regulation. So if you need more details, please directly contact us. But that how the solution will be implemented in in Gems portfolio. Okay, thank you, Shares. Uh, you know the addition on the question you raised. Um, the the, uh, the the person who raised the question. We will get back to you uh, offline via email. Uh, thank you. We're running out of time. We will answer the questions uh, via email. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, panelists, of course. Thank you, Christopher, Shares, Stephen, Isham, John, Pascal, as well. And thank you, audience. Um, please stay safe and see you next time. Thank bye you. Bye. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay. Bye bye. Good luck.